Huh, I got some mail. Hey! Yeah, it's 011 here. And today, we got some mail. Not all of it, I will say, but we got a decent chunk of mail. One purchase, some stuff from the P.O. Box. This is not all of it. I will probably do another mail video in the next couple of weeks, but I'm opening some of it now and I'll open some of it later. Because if I do it all at once, this video will take seven years to make. So that's why. But before I continue on here, I'm gonna do something I should be doing on a regular basis. And that's thanking my patrons on Patreon, past or present. If you supported me on there, thank you so much. I'll throw up the names on the screen. And yeah, really appreciate the support. I do post at least one video on there a month. Try to do more. Fox's mail is the main one right now, but I'm thinking of other ideas to do. And I want to give a shout out to one of the patrons. He actually um, asked for my help. Give him a shout out. And that's Habs Collector 13 So yeah, go check out his channel. He actually has a contest going on. This video is coming out on Thursday. He has a contest ending on Friday. So go enter his contest. So yeah. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you to all my patrons. Really do appreciate it. But yeah, we'll start off with the purchase. The one purchase I made. It's <laughs> the Asperi Kotkaniemi Future Watch Auto. So finally got Kotkaniemi. Kotkaniemi is probably the biggest hurdle when getting the set. Looks like Haskin is now the biggest one, but yeah, I got Kotkaniemi. Paid the price I wanted to pay. Oh crap, I only have that light on. Oh, there we go. But yeah, Coke and Yemi, price I wanted to pay, well under 100 bucks. <laughs> so I got it. He got sent down to the HL, he's still super young. I see him as like a middle six, solid two-way guy. That won't produce huge, but he'll be solid. Then again, players like that don't really do that well in the hobby, so. But there's Coke and Yemi. Um, I guess I'm like 20 away now from the set or less than that. I can't do math, but I guess the ones I'd be looking for the most are Haskin and Dermott and Mackenzie Black with the non-auto. Yeah. 1920 got pushed back as well, so I got more time, but not really in a hurry. So there's that. All right, now on to packages from you guys. First one is from Ashton. He actually sent another one recently, but this one I've had sitting around for a while, so I'll open up here right now. And my objective, do not rip any notes. Here we go. Here's a note from Ashton. All right. Hey, Ziri, my name is Ashton. I am from Alberta, and I've been collecting for three years. Now, my favorite player is Andrei Sveshnikov, and my favorite team is the Edmonton Oilers. And then we have artifacts, and we have that. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm gonna have some of those cards in here. Well, there's that from Ashton, okay. And he sent number seven something hockey card pack. And then we have some resealed 1819 Tims. I still have some sealed 1920 Tims. Might as well open these up first, if I can. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, got them open, that actually wasn't too bad. All right. I actually got some Tims in here. Okay, I guess they're just resealed. There's a Nicholas Backstrom. 1819 Tims. Elias, that's 1920. Wait, hold on. That's 1920. Yeah, that's 1920 Tims, okay. But there's Elias, Gold Etchings, and Tim Horton. 1819. Okay. Got one more of these. Okay, next pack. That took a while to open. But we got Kopitar. Got a game day action. A line. is that 1819, huh? And David Posternock. Hmm. And then we have the number seven hockey card pack. Let's see what Ashton put in here. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got Heater, Danny Heatley from like 10, 11, or is that 11, 12? I don't know the year of that. 12, 13, Black Diamond. I got a box of Black Diamond from around that time to open fairly soon, but there's Heater. We got Danny Evgeny dead on off. There's Matt Cook. We got a Thomas. Fold my no. Two. And I'm getting hit with it. And we got a Thomas. Oh, then we got a Portraits, Rookies, Phil Zadina. There's a good rookie from 1920, Zadina. Rookie Portraits, solid. And continuing on, we got a... <laughs> followed by a... Thomas! <laughs> followed by a... Two. Good. 
And we got an ice, old ice card, Matthias Oland. Matthias Oland ice. It might be a rookie. 98 McDonald's. Uh, may or may not be a rookie, but yeah. There's McDonald's ice, Matthias Oland. We got Paul Korea. Paul Korea. There you go. That's cool. Like 001 ice. And we got a 1415 ice. Ben Bishop. Now, is that. Yeah, it's actually from ice. 1415 ice goes for a lot. Just saying. And a UD portrait. 1617. John Klingberg. So there's a package from Ashton. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, uh, okay. I will open your other package in the next mail. All right, next one up. Just a PWE here. Okay, don't tell me I ripped the note. Fuck. Of course, I ripped a note. Ah. Uh. All right, well, oh, we got a card in here. We got a Thomas. OPG. Hey, Ziri, how are you and Uncle Todd? Question mark. I thought I would send you these packs I make and sell on eBay. You can find them if you search up baseball slash hockey mystery packs. Well, I've been watching your videos for about a year now and think it's safe to say you are such a funny guy why do i have to rip the notes Ugh. okay i am sorry to learn that your bike got stolen when you were at your best pal. i don't know why you reminded me uh thank you for making me always laugh best wishes for you and Ta -ta. Ethan. Is that fancy writing say? What's his name? Ethan. Yeah, that. Br fancy writing there. YouTube Powerful Piranha. And there's a signature. Okay. Here's the mystery packs he sells on eBay. So, check it out here. Oh, jeez. But yeah, there we go. Subscribe to Powerful Piranha and Ziri Gaming. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, let's check it out here. Yeah. All right, we got some baseball, some select baseball. Uh, Fred McGriff, first baseman for, did he even say? Oh, the San Diego Padres. Okay, well, there's Fred McGriff from select. Got some more select hockey. It's got Niedermeyer. That's cool. Select. Thinking about opening some old select, not Panini, but Pinnacle select. Got an OEL. Artifacts. That, I don't know what year that is, 16, 17, 18. Artifacts. Got a CHL grad, Corey Perry. That stacked London team. But there's Corey Perry. Got a UD Canvas. Pierre-Luc Dubois. That's an interesting picture there. That's 1920. How does that make sense? Weird. Duchesne was on Columbus in 1819, and now he's on Nashville. But there's him on Ottawa. I guess that's pre-trade deadline in 1819. There's Bo Horvat. This is a base. It's Austin Matthews. Game day action. Got Jacob Chikrin. Parkhurst. I got some baseball. Sean Dunstan. Jack Morris. And... Dwight Evans. There you go, there's Ethan's $2 pack thingy. That was interesting. So thank you for sending that. All right, next one up. This one is from somebody that was concerned that their package was lost in the mail. It's from, Jesus, from February 26th. But yeah, let's open it up here, big package. Okay, did not rip the note, about time. Okay, here we go. Hey, Ziri, long time watcher, first time sender. I love your videos. You have a large variety of product breaks, which I love. I enjoy seeing the older product opened. I'm gonna keep it quick and short so I don't bore everyone. I like how you collect what you break and a few sets and players you like. I collect cool stuff that catches my eye. And Gary Roberts. I pulled all these myself. The patch in here is definitely going to look better in your collection than mine. I know the prisms aren't high end, but love how they state the year of the game used. Enjoy. And keep up the great vids. You rock. Patrick A. There you go. I did get the package, Patrick. Oh my gosh. Where should we start? Oh, let's start off with this signature pucks of Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan, signature pucks. There you go. 1415 Trilogy. I recently watched a feature on Ryan that was very interesting. Like his upbringing stuff with his father. It's very interesting, but that's a cool signature pucks. Bobby Ryan? Yeah, signature pucks. Bobby Ryan. Back when they still had the logo on the back of the puck. I guess they took it out to make the autograph more noticeable. But I kind of like the logo on the puck there. But yeah, there's Bobby Ryan. Uh, let's do this. Uh, is there cards behind it? Oh yeah, there's stuff in it there. Let's uh, take these out here. Uh, let's start off with this. We got a black diamond. Oh, I remember these. These are like, what, 708 or 67? Black diamond? 708 black diamond. I remember these. These are sweet. Just a dual jersey. Alex Frolov. 24 of 100 red there. So, yeah, froll off. That's cool. Nice, uh, like, purple swatches there. Game use piece. That's nice. 
Then we got Prism 04. Prism. Number to 1185. I gotta find some of this stuff, but there's Milan Hayduk, 895, 1185. Those are really nice looking. Game worn piece right there. That's sweet right there. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do this here. Okay. So we got another one, Bill Garrett. These are really nice looking. I gotta find a box. I haven't seen them anywhere. But yeah, it's 407 of 1185. And like Patrick said, it states where they wore it. He wore the Avalanche sweater in 0203 for Hayduk there. And Garen, in 0203, he wore the Stora sweater and had 50 points in 113 penalty minutes. There you go. Hayduk Garen. We got some Enforcers 2 Between the Pipes battles. I've been thinking about opening Enforcers 1 and Enforcers 2 and Between the Pipes. But you got Cujo on the left and Tim Shevelday on the right. That's uh, this is a neat looking card there. Think about opening Enforcers. Probably will eventually, for sure. It says Cujo wore it while in St. Louis, and Tim Shelday while he was on the Red Wings there. So, that's neat. There you go. There's another one. You got Felix Potvin and Ron Hextall. That's cool. Jeez. Oh. There you go. You got the Maple Leafs and Flyers. Huh. Probably get a box of that stuff. I don't think it's like your formal packs. Then again, I don't really know, but... There you go. Forcers. And we got the second last stack of cards until the final reveal here. I had a peek at it, but let's uh, take these out here. Okay. Start off with these. All right. We got a Peter Bondra from Titanium. Is that 0203 Titanium, right? I think it's 0203 Titanium. But uh, Bondra wore an 0102. And that's numbered to 1289. So yeah, Titanium jersey there. Peter Bondra. Now we got a Maple Leaf Marks from Maple Leaf Centennial. Rob Pearson. Played for the Leafs in early 90s there. There's Rob Pearson. All right. And the second last card. Nice. Look at this card. That's beautiful. Got Heater. Game worn jersey from Prism. It's nice. Number to 935. Number 357. Danny, who wore this Atlanta sweater in 0203, is one of the cornerstones of the Atlanta franchise before he got traded to Ottawa for Marin Hosa. Heater was named the MVP at the NHL All Star game that year. Yeah, that's right. He is a freaking All Star. But yeah, that's sweet. And we'll might as well show the last card now. Speaking of heater. Holy frick. Look at this card here. Wow. We got a heater. Fabric of the game from 1213 certified. 1213 certified, huh? But yeah, we got a patch. It's clearly a shark's patch. It has to be a shark's patch. Wow. Number two of five. Wow, that is amazing. Game worn material for here. There. Wow. That's like an emerald version. It must be. That is beautiful. Wow. Wow. Patrick, thank you so much. That's such an awesome card there. A feeder. Beautiful. Sweet. And the final package is mail. It's not going to be a super long video, but let's check out the last one here. It's in like a little box here. Okay. All right. Let's check this out. All right. Hey, Ziri from Michigan. My name is Lance. I am 17 and I live for hockey. I play, collect, and sell hockey. With your channel, something research is super easy because I don't need to waste money on terrible <laughs> products. But that's the thing right now. The later products are all pretty darn good from Upper Deck. Like I'm looking for an SPA and like Premier and the Cup, Ultimate. Those are all solid products I'm looking forward to. But, but yeah, a lot of these products have been pretty disappointing. But yeah, um, I am super... Fuck my bone. If you tried taping cardboard to a wall, don't expect it to last. Unless you like glue it to a wall, then you're a really questionable person. But let's continue on with the note here. Let's just go from there again. I'm super appreciative of your channel and your humor because you're honestly hilarious. Here are some of my cards as a thank you. None of them are worth a whole lot, but I figure that you may enjoy them nevertheless. That fancy grammar thingy there. There is one card, however, that is a Ziri exclusive and custom, numbered by your biggest fan, one of one. I'm always trying to promote my eBay, which is... There you go. I don't know what that says. Is that Mark? Even though it says Lance down there, I'm confused. But there you go. Something Mark, I think. I hope it's Mark. 461109. So I would be greatly appreciated if you showed it on the channel. There you go. As I am looking to sell some McDavid autos, does that say? Including two scripted swatches and in the game auto patch, one of two. Of course, I don't expect anything back, but if you feel so inclined, I collect all numbered jersey or auto cards of any high-end players. 
Thanks for an entertaining channel. Good luck with high-end players. I'm kind of stepped out of that game right now. I just won OV Future Watch. I'm not really buying fancy cards. This is probably going to be my biggest purchase of the month, this Kutka Niemi. Not buying or selling high-end at all right now, but there's that. Lance, eBay, I think that says Mark, 461109. Email, there you go, okay. All right, Lance, let's see what you said. Uh, let's do this first, okay. How the heck am I getting this out of here? Okay, starting off. <laughs> King Daniel Alfredson, followed by a <laughs> freaking Daniel Alfredson, uh, Uncle Todd, Ultra, Gold Medallion, 809. I'm thinking about getting some older Ultra. I think it's oh, 708, where autos are like every other box or even greater odds than that they're like one in 36 in a 24 pack box so i'm gonna try some ultra because i did open it way back when i opened a lot of 809 so there's uncle todd that's cool next up we got oh as uncle todd i can already tell there's a guelph storm but what the heck is this card though it's weird i know uncle todd was there and then a bunch of other players that nobody cares about it's just uncle todd you got todd norman and you got chris that guy and Brian, that guy. Who cares? Uncle Todd's on there. And there we go. We got a 506 rookie update. Uncle Todd. That's a nice looking card. Rookie update. There you go. And you got Phil from SP Game Use, like 1011 or around then. Yeah, 1011 SP Game Use. And there's Phil from SP Authentic. Uh, probably also that year. Or is that 910? I think it's 910. Yeah, it's 910 SPA. More fill, there we go. Artifacts, what year is that artifacts? 1011. I don't think I'm getting another older box of artifacts. I might, it'll probably be like 1011. Might be that year, but we'll see. Uh, there's some SPX, 1011, Phil. There's Phil again, plenty of fill here. There's some ice of Phil. Here's that ice, 910 ice. And we have a 506 SPA heater. Look at these base. Several hundred dollars for a box of 506 SBA. Not worth it. Honestly, it's really not worth it. If I'm just looking for one player, it's not worth it. But there's that. There's a heater. Another heater. Heroes and Prospects. Him, whatever the heck that was. There you go. Hero career stats. Huh, okay. More heater. Oh, Canada. Another set I thought about opening. ITG O Canada. There's some more SBA. That's, is that 607? Yeah, that's a 607. That stuff you can pull Crosby and Ovechkin from. It's like $300 a box. I don't know. I thought about opening it, but so freaking risky. Might as well get the cup for that price, honestly. And, uh, yeah. And then we got Tuka Rask. And we got a Pavel Datsuk. Oh, we got one of these cards. Yeah, Valdora. Pulled this card, I think. Yeah, Roberto Luongo and uh, <laughs> fucking Brad Marchand. Okay. Got Rick DiPietro. Ice. We got Dion. Ice. There's Roberto Luongo. Ice. Uh, is this uh, 708 Ice of Nick Lidstrom? Yes, yeah, 708 Ice. Nick Lidstrom. Got another one of these classic. There's Doug Gilmore flashbacks. Got a Mika Kiprasov SBX. That must be. I have no idea what year that is. Is that a 506? I think maybe. It says 2005. It might be 045. I don't even know if that's a thing. But yeah, okay. We got a foil version of the Oshawa Generals with Mark Savard. Young Mark Savard. There's Daryl LaFrance. Yeah, it's Mark Savard. That's the only noteworthy one on there. Okay. Speaking of Mark Savard, there you go. Vanguard. I don't think I opened that year, Vanguard. There's Mark Savard. That's an interesting card. There's Sean Avery. <laughs> Sean Avery. Ice. There's a Kadri. Artifacts. There's a Peter Forsberg. Upper Deck World Junior Championships. Whatever the heck this is. Doesn't even feel like a card. Okay, Dave Moose Morissette. There's Keith Kachuk, 
World Junior Tournament. And a mascot card of Maximilian for the Manchester Monarchs from 2002. I think they're the East Coast League team now, right? The Ontario Reign is the Kings AHL. But yeah, there you go. Maximilian. And the final few cards. We got an SP Extreme. Heater. 526 and 999. There you go. 708 SPX. Nice. SP Extreme. We got a Patrick Marlowe. CHA Draft Class. Canadian Hockey Association, maybe? Program of Excellence. So that's from like the 97. Okay. There you go. Marlo, and we got a victory rookie. Oh. <laughs> victory rookie of 506. So that's in, yep, yeah, series two, which I can't find anymore. There's that. And a final card. Whoa, a one of one. Oh my gosh. Thomas. One of one. Wow. Tatar. There you go. All right, Lance, that was a cool package. Thank you for that, that was cool. So yeah, guys, there's another mail video. I'll do another mail video fairly soon. Next couple of weeks. Also, I gotta open this. <laughs> so that's gonna be pretty soon. Probably within a week of this video going live, I will be opening this tin of 1617 Premiere. That's gonna be fun. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more breaks and mail days to come. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.